What's up guys? It's American Dad and Son. We are up here uh, in Clear Creek Canyon uh, off Route 6. It's about uh, 20 miles to the west of Denver on Route 6. You can actually see Route 6 behind me right here. It's real close to the road here, but I like this spot here because we have an inside bend. The river curves that way around this bedrock right there. So what we're doing today is that's where my boy's up right there. It's found a nice honey hole, it looks like. It appears to be at least. Uh, we're, we're doing a little bit of crevicing today. We're going to be doing mo mostly some crevicing um, on the inside bend, on bedrock, in Clear Creek. So uh, our chances are pretty good of finding some, you know, at least a decent amount of flower gold, hopefully some pickers or something. But, you know, we're not looking for the world. We're just out here, dad, kid, having some fun. So take your kids out there, get some pan and get some gold. I mean, just have some fun. Have some fun. So uh, right here, I just got a couple different size pans. Uh, I got my uh, jet dry for when we're uh, panning. And also, the uh, make sure the gold doesn't float to the surface or anything like that. Real small flakes tend to float, so you use a little jet dry to break the, the water tension, surface tension. Um, so he's up there right now, digging hard. We found a we found a, a really good vein. We think at least. So I guess we'll see. You can see Route Six is right there. But look at that. So you have dark rock right there. It's dark basalt rock. So we're thinking this is a good spot on the inside bend it's always where you want to be when you're searching for gold I mean, we can go all the way up there if we want to we try to stay relatively close to the water you don't have to be right on top of the water or in the water i mean that's why you go out and get yourself a pair of big old boots just in case but uh that's mainly just for setting up the sluice box i got the sluice right up there right just short of the uh overpass right there gorgeous day out here and uh I think this is considered golden, golden Colorado. Hopefully, uh, it both by its name, and we'll have some luck today. So we'll uh, we'll do some more panning right now, some more prospecting, digging, and we'll, we'll show you what we're looking like as far as uh, what we cut out of the sluice there. And then we'll start panning it out in front of you, give you you know kind of idea of the process. So you guys can go out there with your own kids and have some fun. All right. Look how much we have. We have so much, Mike. So much mica everywhere, up here, there, all down, all down here, and it's awesome. And this, there's a big rock right here. I'm trying to get out like this piece. Kind of looks like the middle finger, not to lie, but um, <laughs> it's awesome. There's not that much mica on it, but picking out everything. And just telling you guys, you should come to this place. So much mica and. I'm just telling you guys, you can probably get rich by getting all of this. Yeah, see what we're trying to do right now? Is this crevice right here? That's what we're finding a lot up in here, right there. Right here, this is the gold, this, not the gold vein, it's the mica vein. So much mica, which means it's close to gold. Yep. Right, and we guys? did, we did find some uh, old nails and some old, uh, you know, small iron pieces. And that's usually a good indicator that uh, the area we're looking uh, tends to hold uh, heavy material, which is yeah. what gold is. So if you find nails and you know, any piece of uh, iron or, or heavy, heavy, even if it's stainless, that's uh, it's a good place to look. I mean, you can look down here, there's pieces of iron bar and all types of iron stuff. So this inside bend we know is a good spot. So we just look up, probably gonna dig in there a little bit too. The you way, see the different types of rock changes right there. That's what you want. And by the way, I just say you should come here because there's so much stuff. So some trash, but so so much mica. It's just you get one spoonful and it's like ten thousand pieces of mica. Alright. Check inside the bucket. There's so much stuff. Yeah. All the stuff we'll go is through that. Mica. Sluice it out soon. We'll see what we got. It's a lot of dark sand. And we found lots of yeah. yeah, a lot of places for gold to congregate. And There's a little the hole guys, under there. This is coming through this hole as he's digging. Interesting. And by, and by the way, guys, um, my dad used this pickaxe right there. Um, it took my all of this. This used to be all in one lot. All of this. And that was just right here. And we're about to take this one out as well. But as you could tell, come closer. As, as you could tell, there's I've been doing lots of stuff and research right here, and um, there's um a crack, like a little crack in there. But hopefully it doesn't crack me. 
Yeah. We're gonna throw some in the uh, sluice down there. We turn this in. So we got the little uh, <laughs> nice little sluice just hanging out right down there. Got a rock on top of it. It's enjoying itself, just chilling out. Nice V on top. We'll uh, we'll get to that next. Yeah, Whoa, see that nice that crack is. running up. Look at this, guys. There's so much. I just had a buttload of rocks. Yeah. Take it out of here. Yeah, and he sees so the root right us. there. Yeah. We're not touching the root. Make sure to avoid that. See, it's nice and healthy still. That's it's, good. And we found lots of these. Yeah. Getting deep in that crevice. That's where the gold is. Easy enough to crack. Nice yeah. guitar down there. We just filled lots, lots of blocks. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. I love it. As you can see the... I don't know if I probably mentioned this before. There is a bunch of quartz right here. They were following the line. So you're, not, you're not just going to find gold sitting around. you got to dig for it in the crevices. And, cause this, is, this is a street right there, a road right there. So it's highly uh, excavated and such. But on the bedrock here, in the crack, is exactly and by the where way, you want to go. And by the way, um, this is where we put all the mica. We all the take it. But it's up there. This is where all the mica belongs. And we get it out of this. Take it right here. Put it inside. It's about, uh, let's say... Three eighths inch, just a great, uh, and then probably an eighth inch strainer. Whoa. We'll bring that down to uh, a sleuth. Look at this. Oh, look at this. There's what do you got? So much. There's a legit crack. Yep. It's a good one. This is where we're getting all the mica. Right, I'm up a little bit above them as you can see this right here this is where I'm looking at you can tell this is real fine got a lot of dark sand a lot of mica of course mica's everywhere around here but we got some dark material notice there's a tree root coming through right here you always try to you know avoid killing trees any chance you get so I'm kind of digging this way now uh, that's why one thing you always want to do you kind of want to avoid killing roots destroying trees and the you know erosion process etc around here uh, because it's here because nobody else has destroyed it previously. It wouldn't be here if somebody, you know, was a dick and came out and dug everything up. But this spot right here seems to be very promising as well. Yeah, so we're doing some crevicing today. That's what we're doing. All right, so one of the reasons why we're digging in this specific location, uh, other than it being on uh, the inside bend of a river notorious for uh, gold prospecting, is we have a, excuse me, a large vein of quartz rock right there. It runs all the way along the line. It dies a little bit right here, but you can see it starts a little bit right here, but you can see all right there. That's all quartz. So gold is usually found, not always, but usually found in close proximity to quartz. So I'm hitting these crevices right here. Again, we're doing a little crevicing right now. We're not doing old school digging prospecting here. So wherever the rock or uh, has you know fissures or cracks that's where you want to look because the gold's heavy it'll fall to the bottom just like in a sluice or something so that's the main reason why we're digging out here right now it's hilarious the highway's right there but people find gold here all the time you can tell somebody set up a sluice in that area before the boys having a good old time even if you don't find gold i mean let's come out with the kids your son your daughter your wife your mother your everybody in your family it's just outside uh there's nothing better. There's nothing better. What's up, boy? What you got? <laughs> I got purple stuff in this rock. Purple stuff. All right. Throw it in the bin. No, I'm trying. Right here. Uh, look at all that quartz. Yeah, I'm going to turn the camera around. There we go. Yeah, that's quartz right there. You guys should come here, um, cause this is the best place to get mica and some molecules and some nuggets of gold. <laughs> it's the best place. Yeah, some AU, some AU elements gold. Yes. <laughs> exactly. So it's looking good right here. 
cutting along that. See, it's over as well, and there's a crack below it. So that's kind of a double whammy as, as far as flow of water hitting it when it's uh, flooded and before the erosion completes, you know. Yeah, I like that hole right there. That's looking and good. And by the way, if we have, like, let's say, rocks that we take like this over here and we put it in here, and if it doesn't fit, we usually just um, throw it. Like, because it doesn't fit, what's the use? Exactly. My life. It's like, you throw it in here, and then it doesn't fit, but you just throw it over there, over there. That's the place that we throw all this stuff. Yeah, we actually found this, uh, somebody was already digging. Uh, it looked like done, it previously. But, but we found more than them. Yeah, because it's, it's not a bad idea when somebody already starts out an area to just, you know, continue the same spot, because if somebody put time and effort into it initially, I mean, they had to have had their reasons at least to get a couple test pans in. And, I'll see if it's worth your time. Even if you don't find gold, it's fun. <laughs> At least you found out to Michael, which is close. Yeah. That's Route 6 right there. Uh, 15 miles, 10 miles uh, west of Denver. It's probably 15, 20. You guys, by the way, um, tell me how much Michael is. I don't know. Um, Usually, I think it's nothing, but comment down below. I don't know. Maybe yeah. it is, but I mean, how am I supposed to know? I'm only at fifth grade. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It seems like it'd be a decent spot up there. But that's, uh, I don't really feel like going to the hospital, so I'll just oh, leave yeah. that for somebody else. You can see the crack. I mean, that's that's quite pronounced. It cuts up too. So there's several reasons why we're in this location. So right there, we'll show you what we find. Okay, guys, look what we just did. Um, I it was spraying right here. I pulled this out. The dad was just moving it, and it just fell out. Look at this. So much mica and stuff. Okay, watch out. Going it down. <laughs> That's probably a bad idea. Yep. And yeah, look at all that we nice. Just got everything. That nice dark sand up under those rocks. Oh, look at this. Look at this, guys. Can't really see it. Yeah. It's like roots and everything. Yeah. And roots do tend to uh, be like strainers and uh, well, catch uh, certain uh, particulates. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and look at this. Come yeah, over here, guys. Stuff right there. Come over here, guys. Is that so? Blocks and stuff here. Okay, guys, guess what? Um, <laughs> we pulled it out of the rock, as you guys can tell. And um, that was the rock down here, right there. That was the one that we pulled out right here. I just, I just, hold on. Pretend this was a long one. I just pulled it out. Dad wiggled that one, and it all just collapsed. And, and look how much pieces we got. We cleared out this whole entire place, and that's a lie. You guys should definitely come here. There's lots of good stuff, but lots of good. Come in here, guys. Look at this. It's all in there. It's good. The it's wiggling like this. Wiggling it's everywhere. Dark, dark colored sand. That's what you want. Yep, that's where you want to find gold plus Mike. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We've been getting lots of mice here, and come check it out. This place is basically all the way full. All of this, lots of rocks and all. We don't like that, but it's going good. And if you look inside this clumis, look at it. It's so good. It goes deep, deep into it. And we've been taking stuff over here. It's a big loop, and we've been taking stuff over here using big hammers. Under here, we've been doing this, getting all the stuff out. And all oh yeah, you guys! I'm telling you for the hundredth time, you guys should come here. This is the best place to get mica and small, small pieces of gold, and it's very rare to get a nugget, but yeah. So. We're just, we're kind of 
just mining out a small place before we head and and we're gonna hopefully be waiting. Okay. Yep, so there's the overhang, digging underneath the overhang. It's gonna and be a while. Crevice. Next. And as you can tell, we flattened it all out. Remember, guys, this was just a big lump of rocks. Remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's... We're doing good on this. Me and American Dad are doing good on this. That's right. Have fun with your kids. All right, we set our sluice up in a gorgeous little area here. Let me squeeze through a better door. Get your rubber boots. <laughs> this is our little travel, travel sluice. This little thing. Probably about you know, two and a half feet long, maybe. Uh, I mean, we just keep it, keep it in the backpack. Uh, so you got your rock over it. You got a nice little V going in. It's not perfect. Oh, my foot's blocking the floor a little bit. Yeah, you found a piece of gold already? Yeah, no. Yeah. Can you check? I'll check in a minute. I got, I got, yeah, we got a bunch of uh, real good uh, you know, black sand with, with some promising material here. So we go get it, you know, three eighths or so. Down to an eighth inch. Down to the fine stuff. Got that shovel? Thank you. You can wet it down first, but actually you probably should so that the gold gets a little heavier. And yeah, we chose this area, inside bend again, of course. bedrock right here. Uh, yeah, look at this. We got iron bars. It's a piece of rebar right there. They say what number? Number five, number seven rebar. <laughs> yep, some uh, other piece of metal right there. So it's a good indicator that things tend to congregate here. Heavier, heavier things tend to congregate here. So we did wet down our uh, you know, what we're running here because it was it's super dusty and, and a lot of times the gold dust will get caught up you know with the other dust and just stay on the surface and pass right through we are running our sluice a little bit quick right now we are running a little bit quick but it's it's you can see it quick right there yeah, it's 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 get the rock on it just to keep yourself separate from the main waterway just over a little bit just find yourself a Oh, area was some relatively shallow, but fast moving. You can sometimes get a big clump and put it in there, it just dissolves from the water. It's very real, but also at the same time, it looks very awesome. Like it just disintegrates, turns to nothing. And it looks like we really have lots of stuff planted. We might need a little bit of water. I think the uh, wet parts are in. Yeah. Whoa. A little baby sluice actually works pretty well. <laughs> Looks like a toad. Slower than that. Huh? A little bit slower if you can. Yeah, this kind of cluck is kind of hard. What did you just say? Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of cotton down there. So let's see what Just a big cheap uh, miner's moss. 
not uh, <laughs> not the real stuff. This thing was packed uh, less than thirty dollars. Something throw on the backpack. Come on up into the woods. Looks like the sun's about to go up the trees. What do you think, guys? Do you like gold? Oh, I mean, everybody likes it, but um, do you want gold? Well, I mean, come here. This is the place that you get it. Comment down below, yes or no, if you want to come and get gold. Well, we hope. All right, so we'll go through this and we'll pan out the remnants, whatever's left in there, and we'll show you that. So we'll be right back with you. Bye. We will turn it into you. We have lots of stuff now, and it's going to get down. Come look at this. We'll basically add wood. See some heavier pieces. Just disintegrates. And look at this. Good water, bad water. Yeah, it's running a little too fast, but. See, the day's coming here. to an end, so we're trying to. We put it right here, look at the good water, and then look at that, bad water. Which one do you want to do? Oh, oh, oh. I mean, hopefully, you want sinks to the bottom so you always get to the remainder. Stuff right there. That's how you know it's the heaviest. You don't want to disturb what's already there. You don't want to leave it at the hunt. Yeah. Nice. All right. That's it for the bucket. The sun has, yeah, it's right behind the trees, so that means it's time to walk on back. That's why we get this portable little guy. We can just put it right in my backpack. Hey guys, by the way, we show you the way how we get out. It's awesome. We have to climb mountains. <laughs> just kidding, by the way. We, it's basically like mountains. Yep. Then we found a bunch of trash. We're just gonna bring with us back. You know, just every time you're out, if you can, just you see trash laying around. Let's pick it up. You know. You guys see that? <laughs> if you always ate it. <laughs> that would have been bad. Right? Yeah. So you came with, or you leave with everything you came with, and hopefully some gold as well. Yeah. Now we're going to walk back up the side of this mountain. Yeah, and it's a big one. We'll show you guys. 